Welcome back, you guys, or rather, welcome back to myself. I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. You guys have been asking me, when am I gonna post a new video? I am back. I am so sorry it took me so long to post this, but life has been... It's been throwing hands. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Life has been... I think. Besides that, I am a mom first, so my kids will always come first. I can always be replaced at a job. I can always be replaced with another YouTuber, influencer. A brand can always find someone else to collaborate with, someone else to post a video for them, a picture, but I am not replaceable in my children's life. So thank you for bearing with me during my pauses. And I really do appreciate you guys for checking in on me and making sure I'm okay and asking when I'm coming back. I am around, just I can't always post like I want to. I, I want to, um, but sometimes life just gets in the way and I cannot because it's not as simple as just throwing on clothes and making a video. It's not, I know it might seem that way, but it's really, really not that way. There's a thousand things that go on behind the scenes before you even see this video. Also, let me catch you up. I am so thankful because I was invited to New York Fashion Week to witness my first ever runway show. Walmart and Brandon Maxwell had a collaboration for New York Fashion Week. They had their first ever free assembly and scoop pop-up shop and I was invited to the launch party, which sadly I did not get to go to because mom life but i was able to attend the show i am a little bit bummed out i couldn't attend the launch party i really really wanted to go but life you know it is what it is but i was so thankful to just even be invited to this like this was such a big deal to me and all of this is possible because of you guys because of my hard work my dedication and never giving up because there were plenty of times i wanted to give up i'm not gonna lie to you guys i have I have contemplated quitting so many times because of, you know, personal reasons and stuff and things like this. And I, and I said this on Instagram, even when I think I'm failing, things like this remind me that I'm still winning. I'm almost going to cry because and I'm still trying. All right, enough of that mushy stuff. Um, I do want to say... I wanted to say that I know to some people it might not seem like a big deal. Maybe they get invited to these things often, um, but I don't. And that was my first time and I am so thankful for it. So I was, I was just blown away. I was floored. I was grateful. So I know I do want to say I felt so unprepared <laughs> for everything that happened because it was just a struggle to get there, to be able to... There was just so many things that had to fall into place before I could even make it to Fashion Week to make it to that show that I was just a little bit disheveled. So if you saw me there, if you like, I'm, I apologize. I was flustered. It was, <laughs> it was a lot going on, but I ran into Madison Payne. I love her. I think she's wonderful. Also, she is as sweet in person as she is on camera. Because I know you guys love my Walmart videos, I'm pretty sure majority of you have already um, seen Madison Payne's channel. She makes a lot of Walmart content, Amazon content, affordable fashion content. So I met her, she was there. I She was taking pictures and I walked by and I was like, I love your content. And she also recognized me, which was like, oh my God, me, like little me. I admire her consistency and her dedication to her channel, like that is, it's not easy, so props to her, and I was so glad I got to meet her, and I saw other influencers. I didn't really meet them. I was all over the place, like I said, but it was just an opportunity and experience, and it's very humbling and very gratifying at the same time. And, of course, I always come back and thank you guys, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be considered being offered a seat at the show. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a brief description, explanation of why I haven't been posting consistently. I have posted some shorts on my channel, so if you want to go ahead and check those out, I will link them for you below. Um, those are some Walmart ones, just like this video is going to be. So even though this is a Walmart try-on haul, I do want to incorporate a few pieces from Amazon, Target, um, 
And I do have some things from Sephora and like one thing from H&M. I just want to like sprinkle them in at the end. And I do want to insert some footage of the fall Fat Fit Fun Box that I did share on my YouTube shorts. So basically we're playing catch up in this video so it might be a long one. And now let me move on into the try on haul because that was the longest intro ever. Let's start off this fall haul with a basic a button up shirt. This one has a thicker consistency to it. It's a nice medium weight. Definitely wear it with dress pants into work, leave it open with a tank underneath, wear it buttoned up with some jeans as I did. I actually wore this top. I have two of them. I ordered one online and then I picked up one in store. Um, I wore this top with those jeans that are also from Free Assembly. That's the outfit I ended up wearing to Fashion Week. I did feel a little bit underdressed, but I wanted to represent the brand itself. This was a Walmart Brandon Maxwell collab. I wanted to wear something from the Scoop free assembly line because the pop-up shop was for them. So I wore the shirt, I wore the jeans, and I loved it. I am going to sound like a broken record, but you can never go wrong with a classic white shirt and jeans combo. I got so many compliments on that very simple, basic outfit you would not believe. And by compliments, I mean you guys on Instagram, people on the street. Like, when I posted this outfit on Instagram, you guys loved it. Like, the hearts were coming in because it's a simple outfit. It's so wearable, it's approachable, it's easy but it's classic and clean cut, and I think that's what people love about it. The white shirt buttoned up, tucked into the jeans, was eye-catching for both the male and female gaze. A classic white button-up will always have you looking put together, like you have everything together, your life is in order, in a matter of seconds. It does have more of like a boxy feel, but I did like kind of tuck it a little bit. This isn't a size medium. Um, my sizing is a little bit different. Everything is linked down below along with my sizing, my measurements. So right now I'm kind of in between a medium and a large. And for my bust, I'm kind of in between a 36D and a 36 double D. So it kind of really depends on the cut of the item. So I'm in between those sizes. Jeans, it's a 12 to 10 it's in between um, but I'm still gonna lean more towards a 12 because of my curvier hips a bigger butt thighs situation so I'm gonna lean more towards a 12 even though I could get away with a 10 so when I got invited to the launch party I was thinking of what I could wear again I wanted to wear some items from the line so I picked up a few options so those jeans I was also thinking of pairing with these so obviously I went with the white shirt combo and the jewelry and all that but another great option is um, this free assembly tee comes in multiple colors I went with black then I got the free assembly classic cardigan sweater and black because I thought it was just like a simple easy outfit to pull together and I feel like I've purchased this exact tee last year in white it's just a good staple to have because again you can layer it under cardigans you can wear it as is layer it under sweatshirts whatever it looks very cohesive it just goes well together like a little bit dressy and professional but also very relaxed and chill so great outfit I wish you could feel how soft this cardigan feels it's incredibly soft I don't know what is in this material but it's it's gonna give you a run for your money it feels really luxurious it almost I want to say it almost feels a little bit like cashmere it just it feels soft to the touch it looks beautiful it does come in multiple colors and you guys know I love when the button matches the item the material itself because that always screams expensive to me even though it didn't cost a lot it just looks a little bit more put together a little bit more structured it's all about looking a little bit more chic and luxurious meanwhile this sweater is like 20 bucks from walmart but you would never know that okay next up we have this free assembly sweater so i got them in two different colors they do come in other color options so i got one the black one in a size medium and then i got the green one in a size large and i will say i do feel like the medium fits me better just because there is some stretch to this and i do tend to have like a smaller waist and you know my hips thighs are a little bit thicker wider so the medium fits me well. The large fits, of course, but I do feel like if there is a little bit of extra material, it kind of just makes you look frumpy. Like a little bit of oversized extra cloth material looks sleek and stylish depending. But if it's just too much and it doesn't lay right on your body, it's going to look sloppy. And I feel like this one 
is on the verge of looking sloppy. So I would suggest if you are similar in measurements and size to me and body type shape, then you should probably go with the smaller size if you're in between sizes. Now, I think these are great pieces to have. They're so cute. They're fun. I love this little frill detail and I love the sleeve. This detail is everywhere now and I love it. I think it's so sophisticated but yet girly and fun at the same time. Like this style I feel like is modest but I've definitely seen it on other pieces where it's kind of more flirty and fun. So I really like this style because I feel like it's a great play on both types of, you know, styles, genres, aesthetics that you're going for. Like you can be flirty one day and like professional the next with the same top depending on how you wear it open clothes cami or not these are great fall pieces staples to have free assembly and scoop have amazing amazing quality i've been saying this for years this video is not sponsored by them by the way i should have said that not sponsored a lot of my videos are this one is not sponsored by walmart at all next up i have this time and true relaxed fit sweatshirt i guess this isn't a size large it's super affordable it comes in a bunch of different colors fall colors basic colors like there's yellow there's like a burnt orange there's black there's white pink green like great colors to have of course i'm basic a majority of the time so i went with this one um really soft material this is like a piece that they you know bring out every single year i've seen it time and time again i think they just like update it a little bit every year but it's essentially the same type of look and sweater lightweight to medium weight sweater but more on the lightweight side so this is a great transitional piece so you know how it's like freezing cold in the morning this is the sweater you want to wear but then by the time afternoon rolls around it's kind of like summertime spring summertime you can just easily take this off if you have like a cute little cami underneath or tee or whatever um but this is a great layering piece as well so this would actually look really cute with that white button up underneath it i didn't even think of that when i was trying it on that would be a cute look like layer the white button up shirt and then put this on top and you can like pop the collar out and you know like scrunch the sleeve a little bit really cute these items are in no particular order by the way like they're not in order by brand or anything like that so next up we have this no boundaries I want to say top slash sweater it's kind of like a hybrid of the two this isn't a size large so it's a Henley sweater so they refer to it as a sweater I love the cream color it does come in other colors but I really really like the wooden button details I think that's so cute I love little details like that now while I do love the pieces to be very cohesive I do like this little detail I'm a sucker for the wooden accents I think they're so pretty um, and they still look very classic and just cozy and comfy the look and feel of this just gave me the fall feels it is on the thicker side so it's gonna keep you nice and warm and it feels amazing it's so so soft next up I found this cute sweater by no boundaries this is an extra large I could have done a large but I liked the oversized look of this one I think it's so adorable with the little pink bow they have different variations there's some in different colors with different graphics and symbols and whatnot so yeah you have options to choose from but I really liked the simple gray and just something about this little feminine detail just really got me um, I'm not really a pink girl but I feel like this is a really great way for me to incorporate a little bit of pink when I'm feeling girly and the little bow detail is just absolutely adorable so I really like this and the quality on this feels really really nice like I'm impressed this is this is a good piece like it looks way more expensive than it is to me it feels way more expensive I don't know the quality on these pieces lately that I've been feeling in store and then you know when my order comes in I feel like they're just really really soft like they look nicer and they feel softer so I don't know if Walmart's like doing something a little bit different but I'm impressed polo sweaters are trending I love them I think they're so cute they're a great like hybrid clothing item to me I think they work surprisingly well like they're a little bit masculine and feminine at the same time i used to love wearing polos when i was younger they were just like an item that i don't know was that me or was that everyone that was like in their teens and tweens like something about the polo shirt was just it for us i don't know but you know as i got older i didn't really like the polo anymore i felt like it looked a little bit too masculine on me i didn't really like the way it looked on me i didn't think it did anything for me like on men yes it looks wonderful on men but on me Personally, no. I never really saw a polo shirt that I was like obsessed with or in love with on a woman, right? But the polo sweater 
now we have something like this is this is something so i love this the design of this is perfect like it's a great play on both feminine and masculine clothing pieces items it's a great play on the texture the quality this is a great sweater to have like the quality again is amazing because it is free assembly the thickness of it is perfect for fall it's going to keep you warm and i like the fact that you actually have the option to like you know zip it all the way up and make it a turtleneck if it's really chilly outside or you can just leave it undone all the way maybe layer a cami underneath like there's so many different ways to wear this but the zipper detail really did it for me i feel like that made all of the difference um this is in a medium and this is 26 dollars. it comes in different colors and i really like the fact that it had this little slit there so if you are someone that likes to tuck in your sweaters your shirts this one is going to be easy to tuck into any type of bottom and also again if you are wider at you know the hips like this is perfect like these little cutouts at the side really help to accentuate your curvier body when it's more of a straight fit it kind of just looks it, it can look frumpy but when it's something like this it kind of just lays flat and it looks a little bit more sleek and neat on a curvier body this is another great casual fall piece it's so soft again the material feels amazing it's thick it's plush it's cozy there are different patterns designs to choose from i really really like this green color in the fall time love it um, it does have a button-up detail so you can wear it open you can wear it buttoned up you can layer it you can wear it over a dress jeans whatever basically it's just a good piece to have I think it's worth every penny and I love the way it looks something about stars always gets me I just like stars I think they're pretty and I really like this card so I have a couple two-piece sets and they're all from no boundaries and they're in this beautiful fall palette so let's start off with this one so this is a two-piece skirt and top set that of course comes in different colors and I really appreciate this because although it's a sweater cable knit material it is still pretty light so it's not like a heavy thick material because I do feel like these knitwear two-piece sets in the fall time winter time they make you look a little bigger than you are but this one because the material is not too thick and plush it's giving you a cozy look without the frumpy teddy bear feel this is in a size large the skirt is such a good length it's not too short it's not too long you can pair this with stockings knee-high boots over-the-knee boots booties next up we have two pants options so this is the first one again comes in multiple colors this one is in a size a large 1998 I believe this one is the same thing is it um, sometimes I don't remember so this one is also 1998 but this is in an extra large I could have gotten away with a large but I feel like the extra large kind of just sits a little bit more nicely on my body it's a little bit more flattering I feel like I should have gotten the black I really really regret not getting the black one because I feel like the black one is so versatile like you can lounge in the house with that but you can like run errands with it as well the material on this one is soft yet again I don't know what they've done to the material what they're using now but it is buttery soft so I love the feel of this really cute high-waisted so like this one is lounge running errands this one is more of just lounge in general you can definitely get the black one that one you could probably like pair with some Uggs and like wear it outside of the home this one to me just gives me the fall feels like the type of like little outfit you put on to like watch a, a scary movie marathon because you know Halloween is coming up or just anything fall related Thanksgiving related by the way I just want to interject quickly the slippers that I have paired with that two-piece set is from my fab fit fun box my fall box you guys know how much I love fab fit fun I have been buying purchasing their boxes for years with my own money and now I have been lucky enough to work with them as a partner so I will have all the details linked down below about what you can get how it works what you can customize um, and I say this to everyone all the time one item in that box just one item out of the many items you can choose from is worth like more than the box itself um, so it depends on if you get it annually or you get it um, seasonally I have coupon codes down below for you guys so you can save some money with them I love them I 1000% recommend them I do want to insert quickly the short that I shared so you can see briefly what to expect in your box these are just some of the options not all of them you can customize it you will definitely be able to choose from a list of items what best fits your lifestyle what you want for fall basically this is what I chose it's like a one minute snippet so I will insert that and then I'll be back with the next Walmart piece. My Fab Fit Fun fall box came in and I quickly want to share with you guys some of the options that you can customize 
to add to your fall box. So I customized it with a few different items. First up are these cozy slippers. I took the tags and everything off of them and the packaging and stuff like that off. But these are what they look like. They have a little bit of a platform, really cute and soft. Next up is, of course, a candle. This is the Spiced Woods Vanilla Saffron Scent. It has cardamom in there as well. This is the Live in Mist, a lightweight leave-in conditioner, conditioner that smooths and detangles. Clinically proven protection against UV rays. Then I have this retinol pumpkin eye cream, which is so cute. And then this Dream Cream Nighttime Moisturizer. And of course, a fall cozy. If you want to check out Fat Fit Fun, information is down below. Links, um, coupon codes, all of that down below for your shopping convenience. Now, these are the jeans that I wore to the to the runway show. Well, not these ones exactly. These are in a size 10. These are too small. I did order them in a 12 and I wore the 12 to Fashion Week. Although the 10 could zip up and fit, it just did not look cute. It was way too tight. So if you are between sizes, definitely go with the larger size because the 10 was not it for me. These are quality jeans, great denim material. There isn't a lot of stretch to these. I mean, there is a little bit of stretch to it, but not that much. So that's why I suggest sizing up or just if you're between sizes, go with the larger one because it's not that forgiving. There's not a lot of room, especially if you are, again, shaped like me. These jeans can be worn professionally, like I did with the white button-up, or you can pair like a really cute, scandalous top with these and some heels. So really versatile jeans, must have for fall, nice medium weight consistency, so perfect for colder weather. We can't have fall without something faux leather, so I found these faux leather straight leg cargos from Madden NYC. So this is in a size large. This is $26 priced so well. So if you don't like black, it comes in, I can't remember if it's white or cream. It's either one. So you have a lighter option to go with. They have belt loops. And also you guys know I appreciate this accordion style back because it's very accommodating to us girls that have smaller waists, figure friendly because it just like cinches to your actual waist and body and you don't have that big gap in the back. So I always appreciate that feature. The pockets are really nice. I'm five feet four inches, by the way, just for reference. They're not super thick either. I don't know if these are like winter pants, but for fall, they are perfect. These are by Time and True. These are in a size 10. So these are size 10. So that's what I mean. Sometimes I'm a 10, sometimes I'm a 12. These I could get away with in a 10 because there is a lot of stretch to them. Again, a nice thick denim, not super thick, definitely fall wearable. And what really drew me to these was the, um, do you see that like seam, that line down the middle? Um, I kind of like it, I don't know. I want to try it out. It has a flared bottom. Is it considered a flare bottom? No, it's considered a wide leg seam detail jean. If it comes in one other wash, I cannot remember if it's light or dark, but that is the reason why. The links are down there for you guys. You can check out all the specs. So the seam detail does not continue in the back. It is just in the front. I love a good pair of dark wash jeans in the fall and winter time. They're so flattering. They're a little bit slimming. They kind of just make you look a little bit leaner and longer. And they've always done wonders for myself. So I love a good pair of dark wash. And these would look really cute with some heels. Now check these out. These are innovative. So these are by Celebrity Pink. These are definitely out of my comfort zone as well. These are a wide leg pant, as you can see. I'm usually not into the wide leg, but the waist itself caught my attention. I was like, no way, that's so cool. We are thinking light years ahead, Walmart. So this is by Celebrity Pink in a size 1130. Um, these come with an adjustable waist built in. So let me see if I could show you up close. Do you see that? So you see there's like an extra button here. So for us girls, again, with the smaller waist and wider hips, you just pull that button through like that and it automatically made the pants sit better on your waist, made it smaller. You can undo one button and leave the other side buttoned up like this. Do you see that? Like that's what I have right now. Um, that's what it looks like. And then if you undo it, looks like that. So this kind of like, this, these are like some Thanksgiving jeans. Like you can go <laughs> to Thanksgiving dinner with them like fully buttoned up and then by the time that pumpkin pie comes around, 
just un undo the buttons, girls. And these are like so soft and like flexible and comfortable and they're baggy. So if you've been wanting to try the baggy style, I would give these a go because they're priced really well and that little detail sold me. I need to see Walmart bring out more jeans like this in like every style, skinny, wide leg, cargoes, like every single, my camera overheated, so I'm back now. So if I look a little bit, the lighting and everything looks a little bit different and I look a little bit different, it's because I took a little bit of a break. So back to jeans, I got these time and true jeans. Now these are jeans I showed you in one of my shorts. I'm gonna insert the shorts at the end of this Walmart portion so you can see the other Walmart items I purchased that I didn't make a video for, just a short, so that way you can Purchase those items if you like the way it looks on me, um, that sort of stuff. I'm probably gonna just take out the music so I won't match the music in the background just because I don't wanna get it copyrighted for that. Um, but I showed you these jeans in the light wash color and I love those. So I decided to get them in the black version. Now the 12 in the light wash was a little bit big but they didn't have a 10 anymore. So I ended up going with the 10 in black and it is a little bit snug but I feel like it looks better than the 12. So yeah, if you're looking for some nice, denim that are really affordable. Time and True has come out with some great pair of denim this fall season. So I have a lot of free assembly scoop pieces in this video because again I was looking for outfits to wear to the meet and greet and then I was looking for like an outfit to wear to the show as well. Obviously you know what I ended up wearing but I had these two like on standby. Um, so they're the same item just in different colors. So this is like a dark wash denim dress and then we have this like creamy um, off-white cream color sort of beige dress. I will say these are both in a size large however this one is way too tight in this color um, so if you're looking into this color definitely size up one or two possibly. This one has more stretch to it I feel like there's more material to it so this is their denim shirt dress. This is the perfect fall dress to have it has a little bit of a slit in the middle there Thick denim, thick denim dress. So this is fall, winter appropriate. Love it, I think it's really, really cute. Um, so just be careful with the sizing on this one. Next up I got some bras that I'm not going to be trying on for you guys. I don't do like lingerie try-ons, but I got them in two different colors and two different sizes because again, I am between you know, a 36D and a 36 double D depending on the brand. So the 36 double D is too big. I am better off with the 36 D. So if you are between sizes, definitely size down. These are the t-shirt flexible cup full coverage bra and they come in different colors. So this is a darker nude flesh tone color. This is a lighter one. And then they have the basic white black. So if you're looking for an affordable bra to try out, I definitely recommend it because it is from Joyce Bun. You guys know. I love Joyce Bun. They make the most comfiest pajamas and lounge pieces. So, of course, their bra would be no exception. And I do have some like seamless um, thongs from them that are so comfortable. They're definitely comparable to Skims. I will link them down below if I can find the link. But yeah, I love them. Next up, we have this purse. I believe this one is from Time and True. I already took the tag off because I wore it. I think it's so cute. I love the shape of it, I think it's a little bit unique and it fits better like under your arm. You know what I mean? Like it's so, so cute. I love it. It comes in black as well, but brown is just, brown is a fall color. Like we wear brown in the fall time. It has like a copper, brassy, worn in look to it. Um, so it's not super shiny. I don't really like the shiny gold. It kind of depends on the item. I feel like the brassier the gold is, the better it looks. It looks a little bit more expensive. Um, Again, in my opinion, this is what the interior of the purse looks like. You do have a zippered compartment there. Really soft, flexible. It has that pebbled leather look to it. This is faux leather. Super affordable and cute. Definitely recommend it. Studded shoes are in this season. You would have seen these shoes in the beginning of the video. So because I wore these around the city, I can attest to them. They are great quality. They're super comfortable. I love them. My feet did not have any blisters. They did not hurt. They were comfortable. They do have a little bit of a cushion to them on the inside there. These are by Scoop. And of course, I love them because of the square toe. Like that is what sold me. They do come in other colors. This is adjustable, by the way, if you need it to be. But I can actually just like slip my foot in and out of it. I don't need to adjust it. So Scoop has another pair of shoes. I will pop them on the screen. These. So these plus those shoes are a look for less on a budget. It was my birthday on September 10th and I wore this outfit for my pictures so you would have seen those pictures if you um, or my reel if you follow me on Instagram and this was the outfit I wore it's a little bit of a cute 
sexy outfits so this is what the top looks like um, it's lace it's see-through the bust area is covered and I did wear a Fenty um, sticky bra with it in black so you couldn't even tell um, so I really like that Fenty bra if I can link it I will link it for you I love it sorry Savage Fenty not Fenty Fenty is the beauty line which I do have some items to show you that's Rihanna's line and then this is the little skirt that goes with it I didn't expect it to be that short when I got it I mean I did wear it for the pictures at home but I would not walk outside in this unless I had on like some thick thick like leggings or something like probably not even because it's really short on my butt it kind of just like rides up but the top is cute like i really like the top so this is the set i wore if you're okay with like mini skirts like go this for it this is just one simple shirt from target this is by universal thread in a size medium this is 15 bucks i just need some basics again my sizing did change so i'm kind of having to revamp my wardrobe <laughs> by force i'm not into the too oversized baggy look because then it looks frumpy and sloppy on myself and I hate it so I just got like a basic fall color and I love chocolate brown so last year I got this coat from H&M and I got it in the beige color I believe I showed it to you guys I love that coat I wore it so much that I decided to pick it up in the black now again because I'm between a medium and a large I ended up going with the large because I want to be able to pair like a shirt underneath a thicker sweater it is a nice medium weight coat heavy material not super heavy but you know enough weight to it it looks elegant it does have these darker brown tortoise shell buttons I love it I think it's it's a good find. It looks very classic and sleek. Before I show you guys the updated beauty finds of mine, I want to show you my shorts. I will pop them up next um, so you can see how the items look on me and then we will come back and do beauty really quickly. I didn't have time to film full videos for those items, but you can definitely still shop them below. Everything is linked down below, so go ahead and check those out. So I do want to start off with some beauty finds. Some of these are from Amazon, some of these are from Sephora. Um, so I want to start off with this makeup primer. So this is by Refai. Um, I've never used this brand before, but this is their face primer in Blur and Hydrate. So far, I have been loving it. I do have oily skin. I probably look really oily right now, um, but this actually helps with the oil so I would actually look 10 times oilier than this if I didn't have this underneath my makeup also they have different versions of this primer for different skin types and then I also picked up two different foundations so this is the Danessa Beauty yummy skin blurring balm powder for face and eyes one of my besties who is a makeup artist loves this stuff and she showed it to me one day at her house and I was like ooh, I need that so um, I've I've used quite a bit of it. I have it on today. I did get tan over the summer and I needed new shades. So I picked this one up. And what I really like about this one, it kind of goes on like a, like a, I don't even want to say putty. Like, I don't even know what this goes on like, but like a cream. Goes on like a cream. Looks like a cream for a little bit, but kind of dries down like a powder. It's so cool. And it also helps with oil. And then it comes with this cute little like spoolie up here. So you can help like dip out the product. I know mine's like a hot mess. It's dirty, but ignore that. And then this is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. So this is a liquid foundation. And this is in the shade um, Dusk 3W1. And I've been loving this liquid foundation and I'm sorry this is in the shade um, 4 so those are the shades for these for me and then for a setting powder I have been seeing everyone talk about this for the longest and I decided to get the small version just to test it out and oh my gosh like Huda Beauty Laura Mercier like setting powder what like throw them out like this is so much nicer smoother blurring um it works better for my aging skin um i find that the huda beauty and the laura mercier kind of just like cakes on while this kind of like gives you that like airbrushed look and now i don't look the best because i'm like running around behind the scenes and i'm probably like sweaty and oily right now but if you're not running around like a chicken without a head then this is perfect like it's so beautiful 
beautiful, soft, blurring perfection. Love it. Now I do have a few um, products here. I'm going through these quickly because I know this video is a thousand years long. So this is the Anastasia Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner. Um, so I just love a good black liner and I got this one. Um, this was on sale that day. It was like 50% off. So I got that and then I got this Fenty Beauty Lip Liner which I do have on today by the way. Um, this is in rubber bands and this is Sa size this is number five like rushing now i have to leave to get my kids from school um and this is oh this is rubber bands um that's what it came in sorry about that and then this is fenty beauty brow mvp ultra fine brow pencil and styler and this is what it looks like so that's like the little brush to like brush out your brows and then this is what the pencil looks like it is retractable which i love um this is in a really dark black shade this is deep black and i needed deep black because i felt like it just looked better with my darker hair um and i was only finding like soft black everywhere and i didn't like that and this last item was a birthday splurge for myself i don't normally buy something like this for this price but this is the prada lip blushing care balm so sephora was having like this promotion if you buy a Prada item you get like little samples which I have somewhere over there like a little perfume and stuff like that and I was just gonna buy the balm itself because I was like oh it feels like really nice and it looks pretty and luxurious and I just wanted to treat myself then I was gonna buy the regular green one the blue one apparently changes color like as you can see it kind of it goes on as a balm but then it adjusts to your lips natural shade color that it should look like like it, it just decides for you what your lips should look like and I love it and it feels so nice on the lips and it just gives you a nice little tint like a nice little birthday treat and I think it's so cool the technology in it um, and then I picked up Dove Scalp Hair Therapy Density Boost Fullness Restore Scalp Serum I've been using this for two months this is the second bottle this is the first bottle of this this is the Shea Moisture Biotin and Multi Peptide Oil for Anti Hair Fall Due to Breakage I have been using these two this one I'm not like in love with but the Dove one I am totally in love with I have seen improvement in my hair. It's one of those items that you really have to use long term. You cannot use it for a week, two weeks, even a month. Like you need to use it for two to three months to see full results. And again, this is my second month. This is what the bottle looks like. I have noticed a difference and it's way cheaper than the usual way one that I, you know, share with you guys that does work. I wanted a more affordable option and that right there works it's 10 bucks get it i got these from walmart and then this one is from amazon actually this is the vitamin e vitalizing sunscreen this has spf 50 contains vitamin e um anti-aging i really enjoy the sunscreen because it does not leave a white cast and it kind of gives you a natural like dewy look to your skin without looking oily so highly recommend this stuff um everyone says you should wear spf so i've been trying to like incorporate that every day i'm good at it but i'm not great at it so that's why i got that and it's really affordable and i quickly wanted to mention that this little fabric pumpkin that you saw sitting here is from Walmart and it's so cute and soft and it just goes with my fall home decor and it transitions well into Halloween decor and you know just autumn harvest decor so I love this guy. So that wraps up today's huge haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for being so patient with me. I love you guys. Everything is linked down below for your shopping convenience. Be prepared to see more videos from me. I'm going to get back on it. Check me out on Instagram. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.